Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to Klaus's Wunderstrafenstalt. Stra- Stra- Strafenstra- You know, it's not that easy if you don't actually speak the language to try and say that kind of quickly. For some reason I always kind of want to slur it out a little bit like Strafenstalt, but it's not, it's not, it's Strafenstalt? Hmm, I don't know, I feel kind of cringy just saying it, like maybe I'm screwing it all up and all the people from Germany are going to criticize me, and I want to earn the love of the Germans. No, no, please no. Anyway, you may notice that we have made some changes since the end of the last video. I have planned out a bit more expansion for the prison, which should be quite fun, I just think. Uh, namely, adding in some extra cell block locations. Uh, we're going to be adding in a common room in this area, another shower, just to kind of prepare for the inevitable. And also, some larger cells here which will be our family rooms, because what happens if one of our prisoners has a baby, or, or brings a baby with her? You know, an infant that has not yet been wrested away from her criminal hands. Well, we need a place to put them, and that's why in the same update where they added in female prisoners, they also added in family cells. Here they are. But they require a minimum size of 4x4, four four, so, you know, that's, that's going to be kind of important for us to figure out. This actually requires a shower head inside the cell? Oh, good heavens. All right, well, that's a, that's a problem for another day. I've also decided to add in my visitation area down here. So when the time comes, we will, um, we will add that in for, to complete a grant. And also, one potentially fatal flaw that I did notice is, uh, I don't know if you've noticed anyway, that when the trucks come by to deliver goods, they kind of get stuck here deliveries with the back end just sort of hanging out, and they can't close the gate, which means for a very limited time, there's kind of an open exit to the, uh, to the prison. I mean, assuming they can get past this door, but any prisoners that can get through there will just run on out. So we're going to have to back this up just a little bit. Maybe add a tiny little bit of storage space over here and a cut room for a couple more offices and stuff. I've also decided to go ahead and lay down a bit of paving stone and stuff. Let's just try to make this prison look a little bit better and see how that works out for us. Now, these people are feeling, well, they require some better clothing. Kind of stinks. Uh, they really need to use a bathroom, and earlier they were complaining about the heat. Or, rather, lack thereof. One more thing that I probably should consider doing is going to utilities and adding in a water boiler. Now, I've never used hot water pipes before, but my understanding is that they work sort of similarly to electricity. That is, I'll lay some piping, and I think it can effectively uh, power or provide hot water to things within a certain radius of that piping. At least that's what I have heard. So namely, right, you got this right here. All these shower heads. They only can shower with cold water, which is very fitting for the criminal scum that they are. But nonetheless, we probably should provide at least something for them. And we also should consider adding in some radiators. These will allow us to have a little bit of extra heat. So if I place a radiator, I don't know. Let's say one here in a good central location there. Uh, let's place a radiator over here in the canteen. I have no idea if, like, how they calculate room temperature, but I'm assuming that it will help in some way. So, do these people just vomit up all the food? Because this is a horrible mess. Good heavens. I mean, maybe these cooks are just terrible at their jobs. I don't know. I wasn't very stringent in my hiring practices, but still. And also, I did see a comment suggesting we ought to include some sprinklers just in case there's a fire. <sighs> to which I say, yes, you're probably right. I mean, it would have been kind of fun if the kitchen had caught on fire and the prison had burned to the ground. Plot twist, but yeah, we should add in a sprinkler, so let's go ahead and do that just for safety reasons. Because, you know, I care about the safety of these prisoners. <clears throat> Lies. All right, let's go ahead and start actually... I planned this stuff, but I didn't actually queue up some of these tasks. So let's go ahead and build some brick walls, kind of like so. And you know what? Actually, change this to a foundation. We're going to have to build a building like so. That's a little bit of money we don't necessarily need to spend for office space, but you know what? Since we're already working on it, let's just go ahead and build down the building itself. Now, we don't necessarily need to build this cell block right now, so I'm not necessarily going to do that, uh, but we do have room for a medical ward and a chapel over here, and I'm going to expand the yard out a little bit as well. This canteen and kitchen are going to function for two reasonably sized cell blocks, and we might add more onto that later. But let's just kind of move forward and see what happens. Now, what am I doing with bureaucracy right now? Absolutely freaking nothing. So we probably should go ahead and unlock maintenance so that we can actually get some uh, gardeners and some, you know, janitors and stuff like that. Uh, actually, maybe we can hire... It doesn't say janitors on there. Can we hire janitors already? No, no, we cannot. Okay, we need to research that because this place is going to get disgusting very rapidly. And I'm going to need to build a laundry room and all sorts of crazy stuff. Good lord! 
This prison needs many a thing. Oh, I also am moving this bench because I decided I don't like it being right in front of the door here. So let's just relocate it, you know, right here, for example. That seems pretty good. All right, guys. Um, oh, I also need to change the regime. I decided I don't like my regime. So right now, people are eating at 1 and 6 to 7, which is just... No, it's just not good enough. Whoa, minimum security. I don't want to separate based on this. No. Let's go ahead and um, say that we eat at noon. Yeah, okay. And then we have uh, a little bit of free time. And they then have to spend some mandatory space in the yard, or some mandatory time in the yard exercising, kind of vent off all those calories and all that frustration and so on. Uh, they'll have a little bit more free time, and then they can eat at... Mm, I mean, I guess I guess 7 and 8 is okay. Can we please get rid of this? Thank you. I mean, that may be a little bit late, but only winners deserve breakfast, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, we'll give them a little bit more free time after that as well. So they wake up. And, gosh dang it, get rid of this thing, please. Thank you. They have lock up. They shower at 9. Then they have some free time until lunch. Then a bit more free time until dinner. And then they get locked up. And then they sleep. This seems a little bit more reasonable, but obviously we're going to have to change this when we get a psychologist and we are more in tune with the needs of our prisoners. Now, the eating period's about to end, right? Right? Oh, right. Hang on. I just switched it over to 8. I don't want to have them in the canteen for 3 hours. So let's just... Gosh dang it. Switch this to free time, at least for a little while. And let them go to the bathroom, because I know they're having one heck of a time with it. Hey, pr hey guards, can you please open up the door? Can you please open up the doors again? <laughs> oh, gosh. For some reason, the guards only want to hang out in reception, which is not really where I want them. Ooh! Did we find some drugs? Someone snitched! Yeah, sure enough. Let us search this cell and see if we can't find the drugs. I'm pretty sure we got a snitch. And she did steal the pills. How dare you? Okay, we actually need to figure out how we're going to punish this woman. Hang on. Uh, evaluation needs intake. Blah, 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 blah. Policy. Uh, I need to unlock prison policy first. So, how do I punish her then? Do I just leave her in her cell for a while? Or am I allowed to send her off to solitary confinement? I haven't even built solitary confinement. So that's something we should consider adding at some point as well. Mm, okay. Well, for now... Let's go ahead and dismantle the staff door. We can only do one thing at a time. We should just let things kind of progress, but slightly slower than before. We'll place the staff door right in here as soon as it's done dismantling, so we don't have to buy a new one. There we go. That should work fine. Thank you. Okay, and as for you, we need to dismantle this. I think so. Did I actually tell them to build this wall? I did. But I'm not too sure what their problem is. We're going to demolish all these as well. There we go. Okay. And the hot water boiler is going in. They're worried about all the hot water pipes, which is good, I suppose. W was I supposed to rotate these radiators in some way? Because they look like they're sticking out like a sore thumb. No, they just sort of sit out in the middle of the... Okay. I kind of figured they would be on the wall, but apparently I'm wrong. Let's get a small water pipe to hook up the sprinkler so that we actually are able to put out the fire in the event of said catastrophic fire. There we go. And at some point, I need to add in some staff rooms and all sorts of other stuff. Don't forget, in the recent update, they uh, did add in staff needs. So, that will be kind of important. Whoop! We had a death! Oh no! Someone murdered the snitch! Wait, how? They're all asleep! Who killed her? Oh no! How did this happen? Alright, that's it. Shake down! Shake freaking down! I need to hire another guard. Here, welcome to the staff. Figure out who murdered the woman. I mean, they weren't kidding when... Oh, she overdosed. Oh, I thought you took away the pills. Did you not? You left the pills with her after getting them? And she's like, well, crap, I guess I'm screwed. I'm just going to take all of them. Well, now she's dead and I need to build a freaking morgue. Gosh dang it, people. Oh, so inconvenient. All right. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and build this all out. And I don't know how big a morgue needs to be. Uh, let's take a look. Morgue, 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 morgue. Unless they just dump her body off in the garbage, but I hope not. I am bound to get sued in that case. Morgue, morgue. Do we not have a morgue? There's the morgue. I require health. I have not researched health yet. Well, crap. Um, but for good measure, we will build out this area. And this will be where the morgue is. Here. I actually want it to be more like this. There we go. 
and we'll have it kind of tied into the hospital wing. So when they inevitably get their patients killed, we can just drop them right off. Yeah? Okay. Let's speed this up. Uh, doing a shakedown may have been a bad idea. I guess we don't have to do this. Let's go ahead and cancel it. Now that I know that she overdosed, I mean, I assume someone murdered her because she's a snitch. But I am wrong. No one murdered her. She murdered herself, in a way. Tragedy. Tragedy strikes at Klaus's Wunderstrafe Anstalt. I, 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 I know that I'm mispronouncing it almost certainly, but I just love saying it. Klaus's Wunderstrafe Anstalt. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, so we do need some hot water here. Now, let's take a look. Oh, there's a whole bunch of other things. Show wires, tidy wires, logic bridges? Door timer, pressure pads? What's all this, Jarble? Okay, so it looks to me like the hot water does not actually hook up like electricity. So somebody lied. Somebody lied to me. Is what I'm gonna get out of this. Uh, do I actually have to hook them up the old-fashioned way to every single thing? Oh gosh, that's gonna be a pain. Well, for now, we'll just sort of see how it works. There we go. Okay, finally managed to build this out. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and go to walls. Demolish this wall. Build a wall here. Rooms. Storage. Just a little extra storage space in case you need it. You're uh, certainly not obligated to have it, but you can, you know, it's, it's there. Off chance it's useful. There we go. All right. So what are you guys doing now? Wait, why are you going out here? What's over here? Oh, right. There's no proper exit to this thing. So they have to go the long way around. Mm, a little bit for, uh, short-sighted on my end, but all right. We need to get a door, a regular door, so that people are able to access the medical ward as needed. And a regular door here in the chapel as well. Place it like so. And a staff door to the eventual morgue, like so. Okay. So, it's not saying that it's not getting hot water here. Despite the fact that this stuff is blinking, it's not telling me that we're in trouble. I'm very confused now. So, if I build out this direction... Alright, and put a bunch of hot water pipes down over here... Will this thing stop blinking on its own accord? Or is it saying that the radiator requires hot uh, water to function at all, but at least because the showers can function with cold water, I'm not getting the notification, even though they don't have access to hot water? Uh, it could be. I I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little confused on this part. But anyway, at least the delivery section should be good to go. Let's go ahead and expand that out a little bit. So deliveries like this. There we go. Somebody will have to let you in. And now when the thing decides to park, it has plenty of space. Excellent. All right. We needed to build this health and wellness thing anyway, so, to get this grant. So I might as well finish that out. Um, first things first, though, we need to make sure that as we expand, we're not letting prisoners escape. So let's build out some fencing. Kind of like this. There we go. And over here as well. We wanted to expand out the yard. We'll do this. And we can tell them to demolish. Well, I'm not going to demolish this yet, because when do they wake up? What time is it? Oh, it's only like 2-something. we got plenty of time. All right, let's go ahead and demolish these, then. These walls are unnecessary. I think they finished putting in all those pipes. They did. So, yeah. Let's uh, actually whoops, use the pipes to get some hot water into these showers. So, showers and stuff have just become a lot more expensive than they used to. Kind of unfortunate, actually. And what advantage do I have from having hot water in a sink? I mean, I understand the practical reasons of having hot water in a sink. I clean my own dishes. But nonetheless, it's never been a problem for me in the game before. So this is very new to me. Very new indeed. All right, these people are getting tired, which means the sooner we can get a staff room going, probably the better. But where would I even put that? We don't even have enough room for the things that I want. Oh, man. This will be a glorious expansion of the cell block, though. How are we looking as far as prisoners? Do they... They have a new ones coming in soon, right? Intake. Three hours. That's it? In three hours? Man, they're going to arrive in like six in the morning. Okay. Can I change the ratio a little bit? Say I want some more normal security? Eh, we'll do that anyway to be safe, but... Okay. Well, that's all that's available. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. Huh. All right. Oh, good. We laid down some sod. 
This place looks a whole lot nicer. Look at all the concrete. Excellent. All right, all right, all right. I also added a couple more tables to the canteen just so I didn't forget where to put some. Honestly, it's not the best canteen I think I've ever made. Yeah, it leaves a little bit to be desired. If it were just like a slight bit wider, it would look better. And the kitchen might be a little bit too big, turns out, but... Whatever, it leaves us room for growing. And freaking guards, would you... Okay, they're... This guy's really mad, apparently. He's pissed off. They're exhausted. Okay, so this is definitely a part of the new uh, expansion or a new addition to the game where they have certain staff needs that must be met. Okay, uh, first things first then. Let's go to the materials. Let's demolish all this fencing because it's no longer helpful to me. There we go. And I guess I will have to build some sort of staff room for you guys now, won't I? Hmm, where could I put that? Well, I could add a staff room down here. I could add a staff room up here. Staff room doesn't need to be very big, I don't think. Let's see. Staff room. Minimum size is a 4x4. Four four. It's about the size of an office. I mean, I could say I don't need this office and just make it into a staff room instead. At least temporarily, that seems better. So let's go ahead and do that. We need a wide sofa, and we need a drink machine. Okay, wide sofa. Goes here. Drink machine. Goes in the corner. Doop. And a staff door like so. Okay. We can at least get that figured out. We'll give them an opportunity to go rest themselves. Meet some of their needs. You know, it'll be better. Marginally better. Uh, oh, right. We also need to extend out our power as well, don't we? Here we go. Thank you. And uh, I wanted to put in some new walls. Have we finished with our bureaucracy yet? We have. Okay, we need to research health. And then we're going to research psychology. And then I'm going to research security. Just get some of the basics so that I should, in theory, be able to uh, set up patrol routes and stuff for my guards and make them a little bit more effective. Because sitting around in reception doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, does it? No, I don't think so. Come on. Bring in, bring in the sofa. Yay, we have a staff room. All right, this guy can stop being such a... Jerk, what's... Oh, lock up. Never mind. I hear that sound, and I just assume something horrible is about to happen. Okay. We want to put in a chapel. Let's go ahead and get that going right now. Chapel goes in here. We need, for a chapel, an altar, pews, and a prayer mat. Now I'm going to build a couple of prayer mats. Like this. And an altar like this. See, I did my research ahead of time. I had this all figured out. And three little pews. There we go. And for the record, or for good measure, let's also give it a wooden floor. Just so that it looks a little bit more regal and peaceful. And it'll give my inmates something to do in their free time for those of them that are the religious sort. For the yard, we did just finish expanding that. Uh, so let's actually tell it to allocate all that space. There we go. And we should put some stuff in the yard, right? Secure behind at least one door. It already is. We should get... Probably some weight benches. There they are, weight benches. Um, I'm going to put a few kind of here in the center. Doop, doop, doop. And we're also going to get some phones. Kind of place these along the wall. Probably should wiretap these things, shouldn't we? That would be good. But at least it gives them something to do. And we haven't really done a lot in this video. I mean, we've expanded a fair bit. We haven't actually accomplished any goals, and already the time's run out. Kind of sad, but... Be okay. There we go. Don't need all those offices quite yet, but it'll be fine. Prisoners are arriving! An extra $3,200 for us and our income, our daily cash flow has increased. We need to hire a new guard. Because I like to have one guard for every four prisoners, at least in the early stages of the game. Mostly just to open all the freaking doors. Because look how much stuff there is. Good heavens. That's right, load up the garbage. Alright, who we got? What kind of scum and villainy have entered into Klaus's Wunderstrafenstalt? We have Blitz, Kanga Blitz, is known to go round to every restaurant that serves kangaroo burgers and cause riots. She got away with it, till one day she went into a restaurant and said her fa saw, and she, and she, her father, probably saw her father eating one. She then started kicking people. It was a bloodbath. Man, she kicks really freaking hard. So this is just a classic case of PETA gone wrong, right? Uh, Julia Bennett, nothing special about her. Catherine Whiskey Kitten. Arrested for stealing donuts from police officers at the local precinct. She was sugar high and raving that it was for the baby as she rubbed her stomach. 
There was no evidence of a pregnancy. Aggravated burglary. I mean, this one actually kind of matches. I like that. Sentence to blah, blah, blah. Sentence to blah, blah, blah. Babies! We have babies, guys! Oh, no! What am I going to do with those? No one warned me. Member of Pies? Oh, wait. Is she... She's part of a gang? Video game piracy. Sentence to four years for fraud. Okay, well, um, the babies add in a certain level of challenge. Crud! We're gonna have to start getting some foundation going for that right away, aren't we? Heck yes, we are! Alright, let's go ahead and start pre prepping it all out. But for now, I'm gonna have to end this video. Thank you all very much for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed. We're expanding rather rapidly, and I don't think we have a lot of choice, but, uh, sooner we can finish off some of these grants, probably, the better. No, 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 I wanted you to... I wanted you to do health first, but apparently he goes from the top down. I clicked health first and I assumed that, that would be enough, but shame on me, I was wrong. Anyway, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I, as always, will see you guys next time. <laughs>